If you are getting dropped off by a parent or guardian, be sure to exit your car wearing a mask and make sure that your parent or guardian stays in their vehicle. Be sure to practice social distancing when entering and exiting off the bus. And remember, always wear your mask. No matter if you're driving yourself, getting dropped off, riding the bus or walking, your task each morning is to go to the small gym for a health check-in. Because of construction, there's no drop-off in front of the gym. Hey Trojans, daily health screening is an important part of our morning routine that helps ensure we start each day as safely as possible. We encourage your parents or guardians to set up the daily symptom tracker with your phone number so that you, the student, receive notifications each morning to fill it out. If you're sick, stay home. Notify the attendance office and make sure that you're in contact with your teachers. Check Google Classroom for assignments. The red gates will open each morning at 7.15 a.m., so don't plan to be on campus before then. As you enter the small gym for your daily health screening, make sure that you have your phone ready. This will make the process go a bit quicker. If you do not have a phone or it's not set up for the student to complete, we will have a paper form for you to fill out. Once you make your way into the small gym, you want to weave throughout the lines, staying six feet apart and eventually making your way to the health screener. Students will need to have their phone each morning ready to show that they have completed their daily symptom tracker. You will also get a temperature check. This will clear you for an all clear stamp each morning. Good morning, Emma. Do you have your phone with I your tracker? Not. Okay, why don't you fill out that form? And while you're doing that, I'm gonna take your temperature. Don't forget you can have your parent put your phone number in so you can have your form. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, remember Trojans, as you're navigating campus, Wear your school appropriate mask at all times. Make sure that it's covering your nose and your mouth. Stay to the right when walking through the hallways following the direction arrows. And remember, as hard as it is, we must stay socially distanced at least six feet apart from one another. It's important that we don't loiter around and head right to class during passing periods. At the end of class, your teacher is going to come to your desk, spray the spray bottle, you're going to grab your rag from underneath your desk, you're going to wipe it really clean, put the rag back underneath your desk, you're going to stand up, you're going to get ready to get dismissed row by row. Make sure when you guys are leaving the classroom, you guys stay six feet apart. If you guys were wondering, drinking fountains are closed, but fill-up stations are still open. So lunches are going to look a lot different this year. We actually have three lunches to limit the amount of students eating at one time. There are places to eat in the lunchroom, the library, and outside. Just make sure you enter and leave the correct doors and follow the arrows. School lunches are designed to grab and go. When you have your lunch, feel free to make your way towards a desk. They are all spread out in six feet. Each student will have their own desk to eat at. When you are done, just be sure to bring your face mask back over your face. In between lunches, we will clean each table and chair. I know it's not set up for socializing. However, keeping us safe while we eat is one of the most important things we can do to keep us healthy as a school. If you need to enter the nurse's office, the counseling office, the main office, or the attendance office, you need to do so through the 500 hall. When you go into any of the offices, make sure you stay on the circle dots and stay six feet apart. Make sure you have your mask on and you exit through the front doors. If you need to meet with a counselor or an admin, those meetings need to be under five minutes so that we stay safe and healthy. Students will have 20 minutes at the end of the day where they'll be able to meet up with their teachers if they need extra help. Students will check in with their teachers when they arrive and clean when they leave. If you are in a sports season, make sure you head straight to your designated meeting space right after school where your coach will go over rules for changing and safety measures. When the final bell rings, remember to keep a social distance when you're heading to your cars and the bus. On your way there, you can grab a breakfast bag so you can have food in the morning. Although keeping us safe is going to look and feel a lot different, we are still Fife High School and getting people back on campus is going to bring some needed smiles to our masked faces. Welcome back. I can't wait to see you. Get them Trojans.
Make them wish that they were not on the outside looking for.